All right, so I want to address a little bit of an issue that I've been having with just these two turnouts with the tortoise switch machines. For whatever reason, just randomly at one point, they stopped working. They were working fine. They were throwing the switches, you know, doing its job properly and doing their job very well. And then all of a sudden, it would not work. Um, so just doing a little bit of troubleshooting, turned it on, trying to throw the switches and all you would hear the motor just twitch. Eh, eh type of thing had no idea what was going on figured out what happened and I'm, i don't even know how it was possible that uh, the switch machine started working the way they did because in fact it wasn't the switch machines at all it was actually the ds64 so one of the ways that i did to troubleshoot i took a nine volt battery i touched the wires to see if the motor would the the switch machines would work and they were working fine i grabbed another ds64 this one actually um was doing the exact same thing as the one before. I did resolve the issue and this one is now working, uh, but I just wanna show you guys on what possibly could have happened to your to your uh, DS64, or if you bought a used one from another modeler and, it was, and it's acting out the same way as this, very likely it could be because of this particular programming that the DS64 is under. So let's go ahead, let's get right into this video and let's program this or reprogram the DS64 so that way it can work with our tortoise switch machines. The DS, the DS64 is an extremely capable unit and it's open to work with a lot of different types of uh, turnouts. Because of that, there are solenoid turnouts, which have a, like a little magnet motor in there and it throws it really quickly, usually snaps. Cattle has them, Bachman has them, Pico have uh, just the motor themselves that, they, that you can buy separately to add on to your layout. Uh, then, yeah, Atlas, I think I mentioned that already, has uh, that all as a one unit and I think Pico has an all in one unit as well. All right. The other one is, or slow motion servo switches. For an example, the tortoise. The tortoise switch machines are servos. You can also use RC servos if uh, you wanna get into that one as well. Could be maybe cheaper that way, I don't know. I haven't gone that way direction. But again, what you're using is a servo. And with those servos, you need constant power. With the solenoids, you don't need constant power. What ends up happening is just like a burst of energy or a burst of electricity to just uh, throw that magnetic switch over. So what has happened with my DS64 is for whatever reason, something happened and it reset to the solenoid style switches. I'll show you the symptom of what, what was going on here. All right, as you can see, I have something set up over here. The DS64, that's connected with the alligator clips to my test track. And then I have this uh, tortoise switch machine. This one's brand new. So this is just for now. I am going to make something so that I don't have to do it this way. So the two outer ones, ah, I'm gonna have to hold it by hand. So I'm sorry if my fingers do get in the way, I'll try my best. Okay, so we can see this right now. So we'll turn it on and then you can see right here, the lights pulsating, which is a good thing, right? It means that the DS64 is communicating with the ECOS and the ECOS is commuting with the DS64. All right, so this is what's gonna happen right here. Take a look at this piece right here. See how it's moving very minimal. And even now it's like barely moving at all. All right, so now what you're gonna wanna do to switch it back or to program this for servo motors, such as the tortoise, uh, we are going to press and hold the ops button for three seconds or until the light changes around, okay? Now the red and green button, oh, see I didn't press a hold enough, let's try it again. Okay, there we go. Now it alternates back and forth. What you're gonna wanna do is you need to, on your controller, we need to close the switch. Right now, it's closed. We're gonna go to uh, number one, so address one on the accessory. Okay, that is for solenoid. We want it for servo, so we gotta top it again. And there we go. And now it's on the servos. Press and hold that ops button. 
let go. Ah, you see, it moved on its own. Let's go ahead, test it out. And now it's working. Works just fine now.